Hi. How are you? Gosh, it's chilly out here. Let's go inside. <sighs> Planning on uh, spending the night, Mrs. Spaulding? Mm. Mm. It's beautiful. You did all this for me? For us. Oh, us. You still want us after everything that's happened. More than ever, Olivia. You considered a dalliance with Philip, got that out of your system, and now nothing can stop us. That's what tonight is about for me. I hope you too. Getting our relationship back where it belongs. Oh, I think that sounds like a very good idea. I was hoping you'd say that. Hey, before we talk, how about a drink? Oh, allow me. Oh, no, I'm right here. I'll do it. Oh, you're uh, not drinking tonight, huh? Um, no, not me. Red wine for you? Please. Okay. Ooh, this is very nice. <laughs> what was that sound? What sound? I didn't hear anything. It sounded like footsteps outside. Really? Well, uh, why don't I go and check? There's nothing out there, Olivia. Oh, well, it must have been the wind or an animal or something. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. So, what should we toast to? Why don't you tell me? Olivia. I guess Come on. no point in denying it any longer. Nor should you. All right. I'm pregnant. You have made me the happiest man in the world. Bye. Oh, darling. Oh, beautiful than ever. Why didn't you tell me about this sooner? What were you afraid of? Did you have doubts about our marriage? Or were you afraid that you wouldn't be a good mother? You know, all of that's nonsense, Olivia. Because... This baby is going to be a blessing to us. And I'm going to spoil you and him rotten. <laughs> Shall we toast? By all means. To us and our baby. This worked out perfectly for you, didn't it? Well, I, I think it's worked out perfect for all of us. Ooh, just like you planned it. <laughs> well, not exactly planned. I did have hopes and expectations, but no, I think it, I think it's more fate. Oh, fate. Yes. How unlike you. That night at the beacon. All of the stars were in line. Mm, the stars, Alan, that's so romantic. But come on, be honest. The stars had a little help, didn't they? What do you mean? Well, in the form of your P.I. You know, the one you hired to switch my birth control pills? Is that ringing a bell for you, sweetie? I know what you did to me, Alan. And now... I am going to make you pay for it. Leah, Don't deny no, it. No, Ellen. I'm not going to deny it. I did switch your birth control pills, and I did want you to get pregnant. Now, perhaps that's not the most honorable thing. Perhaps. But I have always believed that the end justifies the means, and this is no exception, because we now both have what we've always wanted, a child. No, Alan, that's what you wanted. You. I believe that deep down inside, Olivia, you wanted to. Well, now you can read my mind. When we were good together, we discussed getting pregnant. I told you I wasn't ready. You think a failed marriage somehow makes me more amenable? I hardly think our marriage is a failure. And I think that this baby will bind us oh, together. You wanted to make bind me to you like a ball and chain. If you will stop 
being emotional for one moment and think about how wonderful a blessing this child is. It's a miracle. Think about this. We made love one time, Olivia, after I switched those pills just once, and you conceived. Now, what is the odds of that? You're delusional. Next, you're going to expect me to thank you for this. I think in time you will, because you're going to carry our child from nine months, and I am going to be beside you all the way. And then you will give birth, and you will feel nothing but love, love. and forget how this all love. happened. Love? What do you know about love, Alan? I know that I love you. Oh. Is that why you've disregarded all my wishes and lied and manipulated me? You bugged my earrings, you faked two heart attacks, and now you pull the lowest conceivable move on the planet, and you think I'm going to forgive and forget all that and come crawling back to you? Yes, I do. Because now we have something that's stronger than both of us. Yes, the baby. The magnificent Spalding heir. Well, I've got news for you, Alan. There is no baby. I'm not pregnant, after all. Olivia. I'm not. Whatever your little tart P.I. put in my birth control pills, it was so strong, it made me miscarry. And you want to know what's worse? My doctor says the damage is permanent. I will never be able to have a child now, thanks to you. You're lying, Olivia. You couldn't have lost that baby. Monica Parker only put sugar in those pills. And... No, Alan, you're wrong. Just like you've been wrong about so much else. Oh, you're lying. Listen, don't, don't be cruel me? now. It's... Me? Cruel? You're the one who made me infertile for the rest of my life. You thought if you got me pregnant that I would be tied to you and I would forget about Philip. But now it's all backfiring, isn't it? Your big, bold plan is a bomb. Don't say this. Why am I, why am I feeling so tired? Well, you're not the only one who likes to play pharmacist, Alan. I doctored your wine. Oh gosh, I think I hear something outside. You better go check. You, you talked to me. You ingested poison, Alan. Olivia. I'm just kidding. It's a sedative. It's a strong sedative. You're gonna have a very long, very sound sleep. Hmm. It's okay, easy does it. Easy does it. Here, let me help you. <laughs> You know, it could take months before anyone finds you here. Especially since I'm going to take your cell phone. And I'm also going to cut the phone lines and the power lines when I leave. But you know what? I don't want you to worry about anything because you're not going to starve. You're going to get some food and water. A little bit. Night, sweetheart. Oh, for later. Oh, one more thing, Alan. If you need me, I'll be with your son. Yeah.